Hi there, my name is Mark and this video will teach you a fantastic group activity I call moonwalking. Now I reckon this exercise is about as close as anyone can get to flying without wings or being in a plane. But a quick note, please consider your sequence, that is the series of activities you use to prepare your group for this activity called moonwalking, carefully before you introduce it. And I think that'll become uh, pretty obvious in a few moments. First of all, just get your group into groups of three. Now, if you could have more than three, but three is all you really need. One person will be in the centre with their two neighbours either side of them. Now, the person in the centre will use their hands on their hips with their thumbs pointing backwards, and their two neighbours will actually grab their the person in the middle's arms on the outside, both underneath the forearm and also on their upper arm as well. And to begin, on a count of three, one, two, three, the person in the centre jumps up whilst their two neighbours also lift them up too. And naturally, they're going to go a lot higher than if they were just jumping on their own. And then the funnest part comes, as you will read uh, further into this blog, that, that, that when you get to the point where they're ready and they're clearly you know, getting used to looking after one another, you can actually involve the walking. That is on one, two, three, the person jumps, but their two neighbours actually lift them whilst walking several uh, metres forward. So it's one, two, three, whoa. And as they get really good at that, you'll note that they won't even have to stop. They'll just simply keep walking. So each time the person who's doing the moonwalk touches back down on the ground, they jump back up again. So it'll almost be like them being on the moon. So it's like bounce and bounce and bounce. I reckon I get the biggest shrieks of joy and shrills of joy from this exercise more than any other activity that uh, you know really only takes a couple of minutes. So a few tips. One, um, you might want to think about the area that you're working in. Clearly, not a very uh, low roof would work best. Indoors, definitely want to use some carpeted areas. And outdoors, you know, a grassy area would be fine too. And as I said, consider your sequence. You wouldn't bring groups to this in the first two minutes they've been brought together. Uh, consider the activities you would use to prepare them, particularly physically, but also emotionally, before introducing moonwalking. And, and I know you'll have a, a lot, a lot of fun with it. So that's how you play moonwalking. And it's been taken out of my book that I call Count Me In, large group activities uh, that work. Now, if you like this activity or perhaps have seen a variation of it, please add a comment here at the blog. Or if you've come across this video and not seen the blog, go to inspireyourgroup.com forward slash blog. Okay, thanks so much. Have fun.